Have you seen those like camera cubes? You know, like the pneumatic ones where you can you can like put them in and out, like different like, for drones and one for like other things. I feel like you could make one of those quite easily actually. So in the usual fashion, we have leather, obviously. This is a six inch veg tan, pretty stiff, so I think it should work pretty well. So this is the size we're going for. The base is 115 by 175 and it's 100 high. Uh, you'll you'll see why these dimensions later. What we're doing is a very simple mesh, and then we're gonna have some little whoop, tags here to be able to attach everything together. You're, you'll see. Uh, I'm doing this without a pattern, which usually isn't a great idea because it never comes out quite right. But uh, I I don't have a piece of paper big enough to to make a template, and uh, I, I I think it will work. So in order to enact this plan, we're gonna now have to mark out these corners to, to cut out. And I think the way I want it is for the end to, to have the, the bulges. Uh, that's not gonna make any sense right now, but you'll, you'll see. like that and then I think we can use some either some rivets here I did think about using button studs you know like the poppers but the only ones I have are really quite thick so I feel like it's gonna make it too chunky so I think we might have to go with some double caps so um oh, what is this nonsense so this here is my favorite new little toy for the the corners I don't know if you ever watched my old videos but I used to have to do the corners with the, the skiving knife and not only does it take ages, but I just wasn't very good at it, so it never looked quite right. So, little corner punch is a lifesaver. So edges are done, holes are made. I think we just need to put in the rivets and then we're done. So I was just setting up for the final stage of the build. Um, I had the rivets set up. I have my camera focusing on my little, little hand press here. And I suddenly thought I, I can't decide which way to put the flaps. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm talking to you about this as if you're gonna help me make the decision, but you know, maybe, maybe we'll be talking about it that's gonna help me work it through. So anyway, we have two options. The original plan was to have the, the, the end flap on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. And the, uh, the, the side one on the, on the back, if, if, that, if that makes sense. I, I, why am I, I don't know. So the alternative is then to have the, the side flap on the inside, which uh, actually kind of looks cooler I think um, so I'm I'm not not really sure
Okay, so from this experience, I remember now why I hate double cap rivets. Um, blame me all you want, say that I'm not, not installing them correctly, but honestly, they're just kind of sh If you watch my videos before, you know that I usually prefer these rivet and burrs. They're, they're solid copper, they look great, they are strong as but they just, I just don't really want the hassle this time. So I was going to end the video there, that, that's about as far as I'd originally anticipated to go. But uh, in the usual fashion, I wasn't, I wasn't overly happy with the end result. Uh, at the end of the day, I kind of just made, I just made a box, really. And one of the things that was missing, the, the main thing that was missing, was any kind of padding for your, your sensitive equipment. So I went out, I got some foam, got some three quarter inch foam and stuck that to the inside with some uh, contact adhesive. And then I thought to, to cover that over, I decided to line it with goat skin. This is, uh, you could use velvet lamb skin as well, or, or chamois even. I've done this before, you'll see it on the channel. It, it, just, it just gives a really nice feeling, almost like a luxury feeling. Uh, it certainly is a lot of extra work doing all the interior, but it makes a big difference to the look, feel, and functionality of the product. And what I like about this design is it's, it's quite accessible, really. The leather itself is probably a few dollars worth. The foam, I got a huge roll of it for 12 bucks. Goat skin is, is really cheap, actually, and I'd recommend always having some, some goat skin or lamb skin in your inventory for projects like this. And of course, your choice of rivets, or here I've used Chicago screws. And if you like to finish your edges like this, then obviously some edge finishing paint is required as well. But overall, really not a complicated process. So uh, I think this is a fun little project for anyone who's looking to to create something a little bit unique and a little bit customized to your specific needs. So I hope you enjoyed this project, this little insight into how I go about making something for the first time. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you appreciate the video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.